Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter back again for another Who. So this time I want to talk about something that I've received many, many, many complaints in the past. And I'm pretty sure people will complain in the future. And yes, you guessed it, it's about mosquitoes. So it turns out if you go outside at nighttime into a barn owl, kestrel, little owl, almost any type of bird nest, you're gonna find mosquitoes. Uh, it's quite common, in particular if you live in Everglades or in the Hula Valley, that's a very moist value, valley with um, uh, lots of irrigation and water around, you're gonna get a lot of mosquitoes. So people complain that the mosquitoes are in the boxes and we need to do something in order to save the parents or these poor little nestlings. So what I always tell people is that the birds have evolved with the mosquitoes and they're way more resilient than us humans are. If these mosquitoes were actually killing uh, these nestlings, the nestlings would all die. Uh, but we don't see that. And the reason why they've evolved to live together and there's not much you can do about it. So some people say you should put a mosquito zapper or something inside of the nest, which would be crazy because uh, it sounded like a great idea actually. So I said, well, this is a great idea. So I went out and searched for natural nests with uh, mosquito zappers. And unfortunately, you haven't found one. So it's not a natural thing. And I'm sure there's zappers would do something else. The reality is they've evolved together looks horrible, looks itchy, but the mosquitoes are not affecting the birds as they would affect ourselves. And they're found not only in the cam in the boxes with the cameras, there is an infrared uh, lighting system, the, the, it's not a lighting system, infrared cameras um, that does not attract the mosquitoes. We find them in boxes also without cameras. It's a common event, it's gonna happen. So I know it's hard to see, if anything, it's quite amazing how these birds are able to adapt and live in these environments. What well, us humans were really not able to do. When humans tried to live in swamps, they, there was problems with malaria and other things that obviously wiped out populations of humans where these birds have survived. Maybe at some point, uh, mosquitoes did affect birds and probably maybe some died, but the ones that survived passed on their genes. And now currently the, the birds are able to survive with all these mosquitoes. It's a very common thing. It fluctuates between the years, uh, uh, within the years. So it's something we're gonna see yearly. So expect it, it's hard to see, it, it's nature. And as I always say, this, there's beautiful parts of nature. There's hard, hard parts, ugly parts. It's all part of nature and this is the way nature is. And who are we to judge nature? So again, uh, do not worry about these mosquitoes. If it really, really bothers you, you know, you, you start scratching, itching, whatever, then turn the cameras off. We're not gonna do anything about it because this is the way it is in nature. If we could solve all the problems with these birds, trust me, I'd be the first one to do it. But I always say that us intervening with these cases probably cause more damage and good. Using any sort of insecticide in these nest boxes could be hugely problematic because there's lots of beneficial insects uh, the beetles that break apart all the decaying, uh, decaying prey remains, pellets, feces, that these insects break apart these organic materials and without them they could spread disease and other problems. So you have this ecosystem of these uh, invertebrates, insects inside these boxes are beneficial. So using an insecticide or something to kill, the mosquitoes would indirectly hurt all these beneficial insects that are inside the boxes. So that's the main reason why I wouldn't do anything. So again, uh, I hope you like this video. You know, please uh, keep keep on watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again. Hoochie later.